Hello, good morning from a rather chilly old Friday the 15th. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So the vaccination programme is rolling along. More than three million people have had the jab so far. But the government delivery is under close scrutiny at the moment, and rightly so, with the free school meal hampers that is a complete debacle. But with their propensity for over-promising, do you think the four most vulnerable groups will be done by mid-Feb? Uh, I think it's about 9 million people that qualify, so with the current run rate that is still possible. But it's also still possible that a Fortnum and Mason hamper would be substituted for the kids by way of an apology, and I can't see that happening any time soon. Let them eat cake, and maybe some quince with their Dairy Lee Dunkers. Um, unfortunately, there isn't uh, a vaccination for the economic effects of the virus, and that outlook is pretty bleak at the moment. Sunak is, of course, looking at extending all the support measures that, when they were rolled out nearly a year ago, were expected to be done and dusted by now. Um, instead of looking at ways uh, of, of how to repay the borrowing, he's still out on the front line putting out fires. And Q4 growth estimates make a recession look likely. Double dip, here we come. Sad times. Uh, it's been a quiet week for UK data and sterling has been struggling to make fresh highs above 137 against the dollar. Uh, yesterday we did touch 137.10 but we dropped back to about 136.15. We kick off this morning slightly higher around 136.80. Powell's been on. He was pretty relaxed in an interview yesterday. Uh, the time is not right to raise rates and the Fed is more focused on supporting efforts to combat the economic effect of COVID. Uh, he's aligned with Sunak then. Uh, he's also more concerned about employment than inflation, which is appropriate because weekly jobless claims came very close to the one million mark. This will no doubt concern Biden. He's introduced a support and stimulus bill yesterday valued at approximately $1.9 trillion, providing 2,000 to all those uh, eligible. This should pass pretty smoothly now the Democrats control both houses in Congress. In Europe, the vaccine rollout is sluggish at best. Supply and logistical issues remain challenging, and it's all adding to the overall time before the economy can return to normal. But they never really seem to be in that much of a rush at the best of times, do they? Uh, despite that, the euro gained slightly yesterday, and euro dollar touched a high of, uh, of 121.80. Right, that's it from me. It's a chilly old day. It was minus two when I got in the car this morning, so I hope things warm up uh, for you and have a great weekend ahead. Join me again on Monday. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.